guys, it's Olivia here. So today I thought I would do a get ready with me video. So it is my sister Jessica's birthday today. She's turned 16. So we are going out for dinner tonight. So I thought I would just um, show you guys what makeup I'm going to do and you guys can get ready with me. So I hope you guys enjoy. So to start off with, I have already done my face, I've just done my normal basic daily face, um, which I've been wearing all day because um, I've been out and about doing bits and pieces. So I used my photo shoot foundation, it does not say a colour, it's slightly too dark for me but so this is what it looks like, primed, um, I concealed with my LA Girl concealer and uh, today I did something a little bit different. I contoured but I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the colour 10. 10, see there. So I just uh, I put concealer on the sides and up here and then I just blended it out and I put my normal alpha powder over the top of that just to give it sort of a natural contoured look because I didn't really want anything uh, too harsh. I used to do that quite often but I sort of stopped so I like the look for it today. My hair is wet. I washed it this morning and I've just put it into these plaits uh, and I'm going to take them out so hopefully they'll be curly. Um, yeah so that's what I started with. So I'm going to do my eyes first and to start off I'm going to prime them. I'm trying to use products I haven't used all the time. Elf Eyelid Primer. This is in the colour Pearl, so this is just a white colour. Um, just to start off with. Now, I'm not 110% sure what I'm going to be wearing tonight, so I kind of just want something natural-ish that will go with anything. To start off, I am going to take... Oops. I'm going to take the LA Colours... BC126 Rose, I believe. Um, it's just this little trio here. And I'm going to be using that lighter colour. This light kind of. It's kind of a mauvey sort of colour, but it's not. It's more skin coloured. And I'm just going to take that on a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. So this is just going to create that base which we want and I'm just going to put that all over right up past the crease so then once that is done I am going to take hmm. now if you guys haven't watched my DIY video for the jewellery holders, you guys should definitely go and check that out, I'll link it down below. I'm actually using the little glasses to put little um, eyeshadows in, and the other one I have has got lip glosses, so I thought I'd change it up just a little bit. You can use them for anything, to store anything in them really, um, but yeah. Next, I'm just going to take a flat shader brush, and I'm going to put skin colour there. It's a little bit goldy but it's more of just a neutral colour. So I'm going to put that on that flat shader brush and just pack that all on my lid. Now you guys can feel free to do your um, foundation last and do your eyes first. I'm just doing it this way because I've worn it like this all day and I don't really want to take it off and do it again. I'm only putting this on my lids that colour on my lids. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Make Me Blush by H&M I believe in the colour bronze and I'm going to put this in my crease just because it's sort of a it's kind of a brown bronzy colour but it's also got a hint of orange. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is putting gold um, in my inner corner 
under my eyelashes so this is hopefully going to tie that gold in quite nicely and make it sort of more bronzier than dark and brown and smoky. So I'm going to take that on a smaller blending brush and I'm going to put this in my crease. I don't know if you guys can see this. So staying on the outside corner and I'm not going to go past the inner corner. I'm just going to keep it out in the outer V. And first I'm packing it in and then I'm sort of window wiper in circular motion. Kind of blend it, just blending it out, I guess. And I'm just putting that right in the corner. I'm not, I'm only going halfway. I'm not going to bring it in further than that. I am going to go back in with a darker brown. But I sort of wanted this as the, the base colour. And I'm also wanting to sort of bring that down on the lid on the outer V. Because I always sort of forget that I just put it in the crease and I don't put it down on the lid. I don't know if you guys ever find this, but I find one side blends out nicer than the other. So I always find this side gets sort of more darker. Especially if I'm using browns, it goes kind of purple and it looks like I've been hit in the eye. I don't know if you guys find that. It's really weird, but I always have to work harder to blend this side out, although I put the exact same amount of the product on. Once that is done and you've blended out, next I'm going to take a brown colour and I'm going to put a brown in and sort of make it smoky. Um, and I'm going to start off using the same little trio. I'm going to use this brown colour at the top. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. So, and these ones are by coral colours. I'm taking that brown colour I'm first going to put it in there and then blend it out. I don't know if you guys can see that but I've just put that darker colour in there. So once you've blended that out what I'm next wanting to do is taking my Smoky Profusion palette. I really need to find some. I need to experiment more. I kind of just use the same thing but um, I'm going to take this dark kind of you see that? That one there? It's sort of a dark charcoal, kind of a little bit navy, but more charcoalish colour. I'm going to take that and I'm going to keep that right in the outer V. So I'm just going to kind of, um, yeah, stick it on my outer V, not go much further, not really put it in the crease that much. But I just want to make the outside a little bit darker. So I'm just going to keep it on this outer V here, not going anywhere further. I'm bringing it down onto the lid of the outer V as well, which we keep forgetting. And do the same on the other side. Taking the excess on this brush, I'm just going to bring it down under my eye. Um, I don't really want it too dark under there, but just to sort of pull it in. Um, I'm going to do that, and then just continue to blend it out. Yeah, there's the eyeshadow done. So I just zoomed in closer for you guys. That's the eyeshadow. Pretty much done. Um, next I'm going to put eyeliner on. A small angled brush. You can see there. Um, it's not very big just so I can kind of have more control with it. And I am using the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. It's just a black. Yeah, in the colour black. I'm going to use that and that is the eyeliner done. Okay, so now that that is done, I just did like a little wing. Um, I find it easier to use. Cream eyeliner or liquid eyeliner, I just find it harder with a pen. Um, because that isn't as crisp as I would have liked it, um, I'm going to put... waterproof eyeliner over top just this one here just put it over top and make it a little bit sharper hey guys so unfortunately I didn't charge my battery before I filmed so I lost the ending of the get ready with me so we've just been out to dinner and I've just got back and I thought I would quickly just explain how I finished this look um, so the last thing I did was I did winged eyeliner on the top. I went over it with the um, liquid eyeliner. 
the fine liner there just to make it a little bit more crisp and I slightly changed the wing and didn't make it as flipped out. Here it is. So I lined my waterline with the Revlon High Dimension Eyeliner Crayon. It is in the colour 4 Sapphire Flash so it's just in that there and it's a sort of navy blue kind of colour. Um, it's a little darker than I wanted it to be but I thought it turned out alright so I just put that in my waterline and then I put more mascara on. Um, now you can use false eyelashes. I think that personally for me this look is a bit, little bit darker than I would usually do so I was fine with just normal mascara, no false eyelashes but you can certainly add that. And then lastly I took the e.l.f. blush in Gotta Glow, just this one here, and I put it in the inner corner. It highlights it and brings in colour to the eyes so it doesn't make it too dark and also to finish off my face I highlighted and also for my lips if you guys can tell I used my new Jordana lipstick uh, in the colour Strawberry Shortcake which is just this one here if you guys can see that it's a nice pink um, it's not a hot pink it's not a bright pink it's sort of a nice nude pink. I was wearing black and white so this pink brought some colour and a, yeah my pop of colour to my face <laughs> and my whole outfit. So those are the last things I did for this look uh, and I took my hair out. So I had it plaited and all I did was just took it out of those plaits and it's slightly curly. Um, it just gave it a nice kind of shape and texture because normally my hair would be dead straight so that's how I left it I didn't put it up in any way I just took it out and yeah so I'll zoom in on the eye look for you guys now but yeah that is how it turned out um, I changed the eyeliner just a little bit but if you can see and then I've got the blue underneath and the pink lips so yeah that's how it turned out um, leave a comment down below about what you think about it. Uh, you can put any lip colour with it. You could go darker, you could just go nude. I just thought pink would be a nice colour to pull into it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!